Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to share with you guys of something I made. So I previously shared these adorable camera albums that I made that are available in my Etsy shop and I included um, the scrappies so that people could make belly bands. But you guys, and that's if they want additional belly bands. There's also some belly bands in here as well. But you guys, I wanted to make a camera album shaped craft kit. Here we go. So I'm going to show you guys everything that's inside of here. The collection that I used. There's a ton of goodies in here for you to make your own, your very own um, camera shaped album with a shaker and everything. So I'm excited to share with you guys what's in here. Guys, there's so much stuff in here. I love it. It doesn't look like a lot, but there is a lot of stuff in here. Okay, so first, before I show you guys that, I used this collection called Garden Party. This is by Maggie Holmes. I have a couple of like scraps left here, a couple of smaller ones. Um, these like strips, I included all the ones that were non-directional in the kits. It's a little ticket stub and then a full size sheet of paper. And that's all I have left from this six by eight paper pad, which I'm excited about. But when you get your kit, you're gonna get some seam binding. This is gonna be for your tags. I have three tags that I included, three white tags, and you get four pieces of seam binding. So here are the three white tags made out of 110 pound cardstock that you can use to like tuck pieces in that I did. You're gonna get three binder rings. Now you can use these, you don't have to use these. The holes aren't pre-hole punched. Um, so you can cinch bind it, you can thermal cinch bind it, um, you can do a spiral bound, you can make an, like an album hinge, however you want to do it. But I do have three binder rings included in pink. Um, you have all the layering pieces for that top camera shaker. So you have this piece, you have your acetate, which is like the clear. So I cut everything out for you guys already. You have this gold piece that lines that. And then in the middle, you could either add the heart like I did. You have this piece if you wanna do this piece. You also have um, just this piece for a regular camera lens, however you wanna do it. So you guys also have options within the craft kit. And then your background piece um, for that could either be one of these three and then you also have the back side. So technically you have six options for that because you're only gonna use one. Um, so I'm gonna just, and you also have this extra heart cut out. So that's that. Then you're gonna get a bunch of ephemera. So, and the ephemera is gonna be different from kit to kit, but I'm trying to make, keep them similar, but they are gonna be different and the seam binding colors might change, but they're all gonna be matching the collection. Um, but from kit to kit, that those might be different. So this one has the tag, it's a little ticket stub, says love. You have a frame you could include on the inside. You have a uh, bow, a flower, another frame, these two like writing pieces, this little tag, you got this tag, and this tag and you get two cut aparts so this one says today was the best and then notes and that is hazel now ringing the bell so you get those you get some belly band pieces so i'm giving you options to make four belly bands i only did two in my album but i'm giving you the black layering piece and then you have a bunch of different options here that you could actually layer on those and stick down into um, your album. Okay, so those would, those are gonna look like that. So you could include, include those and you can make them top to bottom instead of side to side, but you could do that however you want. Um, 
You get a sequin mix for the front of the camera as well. So a little bit of a sequin mix that'll fit perfectly. Um, that might even be too much to do all of that, but um, you get some stickers. So I cut out some stickers from the collection that I had and including these stickers as well. And those stickers might be different from um, kit to kit. And I'm including 11 of these camera shaped album pieces that are cut out for you. These are made out of 110 pound cardstock. And then you also have 22 pieces of the patterned paper from the Garden Party collection. So you have 22 pieces that are gonna go like on the fronts of these or on the right hand side because then when you flip it, it's gonna go on here. And then you also have 22 pieces that go on the back. So you just gotta pay to the direction pay attention to the direction because they are white on the back. It's not like a double-sided paper. But I love this paper and it was so nice and floral. So here are just some papers that you get. These are all like the front facing uh, pieces here. So you could choose whichever one you want from your for your cover as well. I would probably do that one. That one's my favorite. Um, and then for the back pieces, again, you have 22, oh, sorry, not 22, 11. So 11 of each, 22 total. The Garden Party collection is so like florally and it just reminds me of spring. I love it. I also cut out some index cards for you guys. So I included index cards in mine. So I also included some for you. And then I also have this piece, which is like a template if you want to do the holes. This is like your little template that you could follow along with and use that. So that is everything, you guys. I cut all of these pieces out yesterday. Um, it was a lot of fun to kind of put this together, even though it was a lot of effort. I was like, what else do I need? What else do I need? But I'm glad that these are up and listed in case you guys would like to get some so that you guys can make your own camera albums with a cute little shaker and whatnot and like I said you could cinch bind it if you have a cinch wire and a cinch machine but there is the option of using the binder rings if you don't have any of that um, the only other thing you're gonna need yourself is glue and then that's pretty much it <laughs> just glue you just gotta glue it all together um, and then these extra pieces that I included with the foam as uh, for example, so this is the only piece you actually need, but I included these pieces in case you wanted to cut them up and have some dimension on some other pieces on the cover, whether it's like with the stickers or some other ephemera. So you could use that for additional um, dimension if you'd like. So I kept that piece in there because I know I used it on mine also. Um, and that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what's in the kit. I uh, hope you guys give it a try if you guys have been wanting to make a camera shaped album um, then you can make it for you know friend a friend or a family and give us a gift or you could use it for yourself for your photos and yeah it's just so fun and so cute so I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys in advance if you guys purchase it and I will see you guys in my next crafty video I'll talk to you soon bye